Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now it's upgrade time again for the NVIDIA Shield and it's to version 8.23. Now there have been some reports by users that the upgrade fails to upgrade to the 8.23 version. Some users are reporting that it gets stuck at around 20% and there's even reports by some users that some apps like Plex stop working. So in this video, I'm going to go through the upgrade process. So if I have any issues or problems, you're going to see them the same time as me. Now, if you are one of those unfortunate users who's experiencing the upgrade getting stuck at 20%, the good news is I've got a workaround for you. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Switching on your NVIDIA Shield, you'll get the following message telling you there's an upgrade available to 8.23. So clicking on the details, we can see what's new in this upgrade. First of all, we can see Shield Experience 8.23 contains some light updates and bug fixes. And further down, we can see other enhancements include the Android security patch level to April 21. And we've got an improvement in reconnection to Control 4 IP-based controllers. Now I did a quick search on the internet and found out that Control 4 is a provider of automation and networking systems for homes and businesses. And they basically provide a unified smart home system to automate and control connected devices, including lighting, audio, video, climate control, intercom and security. We also get added support for SCUF Infinity, 4PS, SCUF Impact and SCUF Prestige controllers, which basically covers your PS4 and Xbox controllers. And lastly, we get added support for single USB receiver connection to Corsair Slipstream's wireless peripherals, including the KF57 RGB keyboard, the Dark Hall RGB Pro mouse, and the Virtuoso RGB wireless headset. And lastly, it mentions single USB configuration requires IQ software and PC or Mac. Okay guys, I'm going to download and upgrade my system and let you know if there's any issues I experience. And of course, for your convenience, I'm going to speed this up a bit. Now I will mention that the whole upgrade process took around 8 minutes and that includes reboots and restarts. Ok so now it has downloaded the file, now it's just checking the integrity of the file. It will then ask you to restart to install the upgrade. So clicking on the restart, no issues so far, all straightforward. Now if there is a problem, I think this is where most people are experiencing the problem where it's preparing to update and at the 20% mark. Long pause here. But yeah, mine looks like it's gone through okay, I think. Now what I will say is that was a long pause between the 20% and the NVIDIA Shield screen coming up. So maybe that's where some people are going wrong and not waiting long enough. And again, I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, it's booted into Android. And it's finishing the upgrade. And that's it guys, we are upgraded to 8.23. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you do get that problem where the upgrade freezes at 20%, just reboot and go into your settings. And you need to enable developer mode, if you haven't already. So go down into device preferences, about, scroll down to build number, and tap it 8 or 9 times until you get the message you've enabled developer mode. Now I have already enabled it, so I get the message you're already a developer. Now go back to settings, device preferences, scroll down to developer options and then scroll down all the way down to enable provide full system upgrades. Toggle the switch and then just reboot your shield and you should be okay to go. Let me know in the comments below if you have any issues with this upgrade. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.